Hey guys, Dr. Dan, Brexville Physical Medicine. I want to give you guys one more tip about uh, neutral pelvic positioning. And this is going to apply mostly for when you're standing and when you're walking, running, working out, those types of things. So I'm going to show you on the spinal model right here what I'm talking about. This is the pelvis and then the spine is on top. So when I show you guys the alignment of a forward pelvis, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you on my body now, and what I want you to picture is picture the pelvis like a bucket of water. So if this is your bucket, if your water spills forward, this is called an anteriorly tipped pelvis, so a forward pelvis. And this, what the bad thing about it is, when the pelvis goes forward, it compresses the lower back. So I'll show you guys on the model again. When the pelvis goes forward, watch what happens to these little joints right here. They all compress. Then when you add movement on top of it with walking, running, working out, you get irritation to the facet joints and in the lower spine. So the fix looks like this. Take your bucket from spilling forward and try to bring it to neutral. There's two major muscles that do that. One is the abdominals and one is the glutes. So doing strengthening for those muscles is important, but you also have to train yourself to be in a good habit of keeping your pelvis neutral. And that goes with standing. If you're standing at the sink doing dishes, if you slip into this position, your back starts to hurt. It's a nice thing to do to bring yourself back out, relieve pain. You could put a leg up on something to help that position as well. That can feel better for people. Um, and then when you walk, if you're stuck in this position, when the leg goes behind you, you get more extension, so then more irritation to the back. If the pelvis stays neutral and the leg goes back, you don't get that. So that's my tip for the neutral pelvis. I hope it helps you guys out. Leave a comment, like our channel. Thanks so much.